Hey everybody, Sue here. Welcome back to Play It Again. I'm so glad that you joined me today. Thank you so very much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it and I hope you're all having a great day. Okay, today we are getting back to Daft Punk and we're going to do a song that I have never heard before. It's called Instant Crush and I am very excited to hear this one. I know a few of their songs and uh, I really like the ones that I've heard and they're always so different and you never know who's going to be singing or what it's going to sound like exactly but they do have a cool sound and I really do like them. The last time we did Daft Punk they went over quite well and I am sure they will again this time. Before we get going though if you could all like this video and subscribe to my channel if you have not already done so it really does help me a ton. And if you are so inclined, you can always become a member of my channel. Just click on the join button and it'll tell you all about the membership options. And if any of the perks appeal to you, you can become a member of my family. Play it again. All right, here we go. Daft Punk and Instant Crush. And this is the official video, I guess. So here we go. It's going to be fantastic. I mean, it's, I've never seen anything quite like it with the, they're just in incorporating all of these sort of wax museum kind of figures. And there seems to be a bit of a connection between some of the, these uh, figures themselves. But what a cool song this is. It has a very, it's different in some ways than some of the other Daft Punk songs I heard. But then again, very similarly, you can hear, of course, that very kind of that synthesizer that in that electronic feel especially the the effect that they put on on the voice on the vocals and that's really cool and that has a very kind of a daft punk kind of feel to it and of course they have julian casablanca's back again singing who is from the strokes and i really like that band too and uh, I, I, this is now the second song that i've done that he actually has been singing in so i think that's really cool too love the drums in this song they're just keeping that 
that constant beat throughout the whole thing and it really is hooking you in throughout the whole song really cool song and i really the video is a lot of fun all right let's rewind this a bit Very cool. Yeah, that was a really cool song. And that video, uh, like, yeah, there was definitely that connection to them. I love that at the end when there was some fire started, I don't know how the heck the fire really started, but um, yeah, that they fell together and they ended up melting like this big pool of wax together, but their hands were joined as they were melting. So I guess they're going out together. Anyway, kind of cool video. Anyway, loved that. That was so cool. I really do like Daft Punk. I just like their whole sound. And like I said, I know they have different sounds all the time, but that electronic feel always kind of runs through all their stuff. And of course, they're a big electronic band, so that would make sense. But absolutely cool. But I did really enjoy the guitar solo that was in this. And uh, it, that very much had a Strokes kind of feel to it. So I'm pretty sure that uh, Julian probably would have been playing that guitar. So I think that was very, very cool that they added that little bit. And it did kind of sound a little more Strokes-esque, I guess. Just added a little bit more depth to the song, which I thought was kind of cool. If you like Daft Punk and you'd like me to do more of their stuff, please put it down in the comments and I'd be more than happy to check it out. So my fun fact for the day is that... This song actually became in the top 10 in a number of countries that I thought had a very odd mix. Normally when you hear that they're in the top 10, they might be in a number of um, European countries or maybe in the UK and Australia and maybe somewhere in North America, etc. But these top, top 10 placements were kind of all over the place. They reached the top 10 in South Korea. Then they reached the top 10 in Lebanon. France, of course, because they are from France, Belgium, and 
Australia. So they just seem to be all over the place with their top 10. And I was wondering why it just hit those particular countries. And it did so well in those particular countries and maybe not as well in the rest of the world. And if anybody has any information on that, I would love to know it. Okay, everybody, like I said, if you'd like more Daft Punk, put it down in the comments and please put down your favorite song and I'll see if I can get around to as many as I can. Okay, everybody, wrap it up. So have a joyful day and I will see you all again next time. Bye-bye.